Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel and uh, we are going to be running a series of 7 classes where you will be learning to add and subtract together. Now this methodology will be a very unique one where it will be in a very playful and in a very easy way. So without any delays, let's start with our class 1. So class 1 what we are going to be doing is we will learn the parts of our abacus. Okay, this is the tool abacus which we will be using to add and subtract and even multiplication, division, square, square roots, everything is been done using the tool abacus. So the first will be we have to know the parts of our tool abacus. So just as we have different parts of our body, our abacus also has got different parts. So let's start with this black outline which is called as the frame of the abacus. So we have this I will just draw it to make it more clear for you all. So we have this black outline which you see is called as the frame of the abacus. Now the word frame, all of us have heard the word frame in our spectacles, then we have the door frames, then we have the photo frame, okay. Many places we use the word frame. So the frame is basically which holds entire abacus together. Then the next part is this white line passing through which is called as the beam. Now what is the role of a beam? Now a beam is a structure in a house or in a building which holds two floors together. So same way over here for our abacus this beam holds the lower and the top part. Okay, there you see that there are two parts over here. So it holds the lower part and the top part together. So that is the role of the beam. Then we have these yellow balls which are passing through which are called as the beads. Then these sticks you see, the brown sticks, they are called as rods. So let me just draw them for you. Okay, here we have one. Okay, all these are the rods. And then we have these beads. Okay, we have four beads down and one bead on top. So let me repeat what I have said. The first part is the frame. It's just like our photo frame. Then we have the second which is called as the beam. Then we have these sticks which are called as rods. Then we have these yellow balls which we call as beads. Now these black points which we see are called as the unit points and they are very important. Okay, we will know why they are important. They are very important. These are called as the unit points. And right in the middle one is called the one in the over here. Okay, we are going to be calling it as our little piggy bank. Now what is a piggy bank? A piggy bank is a place where we always save our money. Like says I receive a pocket money. Okay, and what do I do with the pocket money? The first thing I will do is I will put it in my piggy bank where I keep saving money and whenever I need money, I always take money from my piggy bank to buy whatever I need. So this is what I am going to be calling as a, as a piggy bank. Now, once again before going ahead, let me just recap on what we have done. The black outline is called as the frame of the abacus, okay. It's just like the photo frame. Then I have this which is called as the beam, then I have these Yellow balls, okay, all these balls they are called as beads, then these sticks are called as rods and these black points, all the black points are called as unit points but right in the middle one I will be terming it as our little piggy bank, a piggy bank where we save money and, uh, and whenever we need we take out money from it to buy things what we want. So this is all about our abacus, the parts of our abacus. So, same way as we have our different parts, same way abacus also has got different parts and we need to know the parts of our abacus, okay. So now when you are using, you will be having a small gadget, small abacus, okay. I will just show it to you all. It will be something like this, okay. And what you are going to be doing is when you use this small tool, you are going to be keeping it flat on the table, you are going to be holding it with your left hand. And your pencil will always be in your right hand. This is for the those who are righties. Now those who are lefties, it will be the opposite. You will hold the abacus with the right hand and you will hold the pencil in the left hand. So that is called as style up with abacus. So what you are going to be doing? You are just going to sit 
in a proper position in a straight position and you are going to be holding the abacus with one hand and your pencil in the other hand. So that is how you are going to be styling up with your abacus. If you are a righty, left hand you hold the abacus, right hand you hold the pencil. If you are a lefty, right hand you hold the abacus and left hand you use your pencil. Okay. So this is called as styling up with abacus. That's, it's going to be a good posture when you sit with your abacus holding. It's going to be very good because that is what is going to be improving your concentration, your focus, okay, and all the things which we are going to be learning in a in our seven day series. So now, before ending what I have my class, okay, we'll just recap with whatever we have done. The first thing we did was parts of our abacus. Parts of our abacus are same way as we have our different parts. This blank outline is the frame, then we have the beam passing through, then we have the beads, we have the rods, we have the unit points and the right in the middle one as I said we are going to be using this one and that is called as our little piggy bank where we will be using this particular house or particular rod to calculate our numbers. Okay, so that's all for today's class and see you for the next class where we will be learning little more in details about the values and all that thing. Thank you.